You heard the sound? Yeah, now, yeah. now I heard. Here there's already the magnets on something what's under the water there. What is it? I don't know yet. Is it heavy? Oh. oh it's... This is the Now Here channel and our goal is to show the diversity of normal life. We believe that anyone can have something interesting to tell and we want to share those stories. What is normal for you can be distant for someone else. All over the world in cities where there is the sea, lake, river or any body of water, people are facing the same desire to throw stuff into the water. Splash and the thing is gone. Our goal is to explore what you can find under the water in Helsinki. In one of the few cities where statistics on this are gathered is Amsterdam. They retrieve approximately 15,000 bikes from the canals each year. Today we are exploring the seafloor with an experienced magnet fisher Tusa who has collected a total of 54 bikes with his powerful magnets. Uh, my name is Tusa von Tusberg. I'm mm. a uh, local uh, magnet fisher and metal artisan uh, from Helsinki, Finland. Mm -hmm. And magnetic fishing, wh what is for you? Uh, for me, uh, it's a very good way to save the Baltic. Save the Baltic? Yeah, uh, cleaning uh, the sea trash. And you've been doing this now for three uh, years, was it? Yes, three seasons uh, for now. Mm, and how much stuff you've been collecting? Oh, uh, a <laughs> lot of, a lot, too much, too much, I, I'd like to say. I try to make as myself uh, an example for uh, a, anyone that can follow. Uh, I, feel, I, I feel really as a helping. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Magnet fishing is a kind of an underwater treasure hunt, a unique way to collect metallic objects beneath the waves. Typically, a magnet fisher needs just a rope and a couple powerful neodymium magnets. But Dusa adds a twist to the game. He has also a shovel on a rope that he can uncover other materials too. <laughs> Yeah, first things uh, we just uh, little scouting the seabed because uh, you cannot see actually nothing here. Uh. So first we like uh, make a inside map, a mind map. Yeah, <laughs> uh, about the seabed. And when I got some uh, like really bite or a ping, how you wanna say, then you really feel that okay, it got something, and then you uh, start uh, trying to lure it. Uh, to the shore and it can take uh, either a lot of time or come easily. Do you feel something yes, there? Yes, yes. Ah, yeah? yeah? How does it feel? Is it Good. <laughs> it, it, it really uh, starts like uh, pull back. Ah, yeah? Yeah. What do you think it might be? you have any guesses? Uh, it might be some sort of a pole, like uh, the shape of Maybe. pole. Maybe. Is it heavy? Yes. And uh, we don't know what is it. Maybe Tuza was saying that can be a gearbox of a, or the gear stick of the car, but I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's just a stick with a ball in the end. What do you think? Hey, are you hungry? Huh? Lunch break. <laughs> nice. Yeah. A fork. After the gear stick and a fork, our findings started to be a bit smaller. We got up just a sword-like stick, many fishing lures and loads of little magnetic stones that love to cling to the magnet. But we were waiting for a bigger fish. Are you ever scared that you would fall there by yourself? I made it uh, one time per season, approximately. You're saying that you're doing this for clean the Baltic to save the sea? Yes, uh, every, uh, every trash matters. Mm, yeah, and like even though it's... If you think a metallic thing down there in the sea, it doesn't feel like it's like so 
bad thing to be there. Yes, uh, for the environment, uh, when it's uh, dissolving, uh, mm. it's uh, becoming uh, many times a hazard for the surroundings. It doesn't oh, belong. Yeah. In principle, some of most common metals, steel and aluminium, are not really harmful for the sea. However, let's consider for example an electric scooter. It contains many other components beyond just the aluminium skeleton. One of the most damaging elements is the battery, which consists of dangerous heavy metals and chemicals. You heard the sound? Yeah, now, yeah. now I heard. Yeah. Basically, you can find anything uh, from human life yes. uh, representing uh, th some part of it. But uh, most uh, category would be uh, bicycles and uh, electric scooters. So basically, like anything from the people, like yes. everything what people is living yeah, behind. Yeah, you, from the hum human, human waste. Mm. As a, uh, we can put it as a human waste. Yeah. What is it? I don't know yet. Is it heavy? Oh. oh it's... Oh. Tire. It's a tire. And there is something else also. There is a rope on it. Oh no. No, I feel we uh, got something uh, bigger away mm. from the sea. That uh, it's a good day already. Yeah, it's like a... Really, you can see your impact there. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I think uh, nowadays uh, people uh, feel much more uh, knowing and uh, self-knowing uh, for about uh, their environment. And mm. my one of my uh, dreams uh, mm. is to have a recycling center uh, connected with uh, saving the sea. So yeah. uh, sea salvage, uh, basically, uh, and uh, I make these uh, installations uh, from the findings, uh, yeah. contemporary art, let's say, and then the city uh, will eventually come and clean them off. Uh, when mm. I send the mail and so, but people first have to a little look and make yeah. the, make the think uh, what is uh, wrong with this.